Hey everyone, Zach Scott here. Before we jump in, I want to let you know that this video is sponsored by Nintendo. They wanted me to share my thoughts on a classic game that's turning a new page on the Nintendo Switch system. That's right, we're talking about the Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door game. It's a witty and whimsical RPG that's sure to captivate both longtime fans and newcomers alike. As many of you know, I played through several Paper Mario games on my channel, and I'm a huge fan of the series, so I couldn't be more excited to embark on this journey. As I step into the storybook world, I'm immediately charmed by the colorful cast of characters. Every fold of this paper universe is filled with surprises and engaging tales. From the upbeat and studious Goombella to the shy but determined Koops, Mario meets a diverse array of folks on his journey. Some even join his party or have their own stories that unfold between chapters. Others, like Peach and Bowser, have stories stories of their own that you'll play between Mario's chapters, adding even more depth to the narrative. The story revolves around Mario's epic quest to collect the crystal stars before the nefarious x knots can get their hands on him. With a map from Princess Peach and the help of some quirky locals, our mustachioed hero travels the vibrant paper landscape to uncover the secrets behind the Thousand Year Door. What really brings this classic to life on the Nintendo Switch is the enhanced graphics. The visuals are crisper than ever, making the world pop off the screen. It's incredible to see how far the series has come in terms of visual fidelity. One thing I absolutely adore about Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door is its fantastic sense of humor. Well, I suppose I could apologize by letting you smell the bottoms of my feet. Ew. So care to take a whiff of the rich yet delicate scent of my world-renowned feet? <laughs> That's disgusting, I will lie. <laughs> no. The woody dialogue and quirky characters never fail to make me laugh. Its charm just puts a smile on my face. Also, these characters take on new personalities not found in other Mario games. Goombas and Koopas, who are usually enemies, can be your allies. There are also hilarious romance elements, like several of the ladies kissing Mario. I have just got to give you a little reward. Oh, it's a kiss? <laughs> Normally, I do request kisses as rewards. I'm just surprised she actually gave me one. Or a computer falling in love with Peach. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. <laughs> if you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Well, you know, maybe it is possible that, well, you're in love with me. And there is a lot of intriguing world building. Luigi, who seems to be off on his own adventure, will tell you all about it in some long-winded conversations between chapters. I would love to see that as a game on its own. Eh, uh, what am I up to? Well, bro, I'm on an adventure. I have to rescue Princess Eclair of the Waffle Kingdom. Can you believe it's been 20 years since the original was released on the GameCube? Despite the passage of time, the story and gameplay still feel fresh and modern, especially with the enhanced graphics. It's a testament to the enduring appeal of this beloved series. Well, there you have it. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door is a must-play for any RPG fan or Nintendo enthusiast. With its clever writing, memorable characters, and improved visuals, this game is a shining example of the series' timeless appeal. I'm currently playing through the full game, and I cannot wait for you guys to experience more of this incredible adventure. Thanks again to Nintendo for giving me this incredible opportunity to share this game with you by sponsoring this video. If you want to learn more about Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, be sure to check out the links in the description below to visit the official Nintendo website. Until next time, happy gaming.